No, do not bring the honey badger from the African savanna to the Everglades in Florida to stop the Burmese python invasion. While I understand why some might think this is a good idea, doing this will result in a total ecological disaster. But wait, why are we even considering bringing in the honey badger to hunt giant pythons in America? Let me explain. For several years, many Floridians thought it was a good idea to keep Burmese pythons as pets, and as a result, an estimated 99,000 snakes were imported into America from Southeast Asia between 1996 to 2006. These so-called pets are said to be adorable when young, but can exceed 18 feet when fully grown and become very expensive to feed and safely maintain. Some pet owners who could no longer care for adult pythons recklessly released them into the Floridian wild. These snakes were also released in bulk into the Everglades from a breeding facility during the ravaging of Hurricane Andrew in 1992. The damage done to the ecosystem by the release of the Burmese python is extensive. This creature has decimated local mammalian and bird populations. Some estimates show that there has been as much as 90% reduction in populations of foxes, bobcats, rabbits, raccoons, and possums. In an experiment, marsh rabbits were released in the Everglades National Park, and within 11 months, it was shown that python predation accounted for the demise of 77% of the released rabbits. Link in the description below. Think about that, 77% of the released rabbits were done in by the python. So to deal with this python invasion, one has to ask, is there an animal that specializes in taking out snakes that could be deployed against the python in Florida? Some have suggested the release of the honey badger in Florida. And I say no, this is a very bad idea for two reasons. First of all, assuming that the honey badger could actually take out a full-grown python, which is debatable, more on this later, honey badger will attack other snake species that we actually want in the Everglades, such as the cottonmouth. The honey badger has a voracious appetite, and it will go after anything it can get its hands on. Birds, rabbits, bird eggs, and alligator eggs. In other words, this little psychopath will rain down the apocalypse on non-target species in the Everglades. We do not want that. If we decide to get the honey badger, how many would we bring in? No one really knows how many pythons are in the Everglades. Estimates range from 30,000 to over 300,000. Are we really going to bring in thousands of honey badgers into Florida? I don't think so. Secondly, while the honey badger is capable of deleting juvenile and baby Burmese pythons, I am not sure that it can actually terminate a full-grown python. Check out the size of this 16-foot python. It takes several men to hold it down. Full-grown pythons can clock in at 18 feet. In South Africa, researchers have found honey badgers in the stomachs of adult rock pythons. Besides, honey badgers specialize in deleting venomous snakes as they have some immunity to their venom. But pythons are not venomous. Instead, a python uses pure muscle to destroy its prey. So, for all these reasons, I do not recommend introducing the honey badger into the Floridian wild. Some might say, hey, you are just a honey badger hater. I would respond by saying, not at all. I am a huge fan of the honey badger, just as long as it is over there in the savanna dealing with mambas, cobras, and whatever venomous creature it can get its hands on in its natural terrain. However, if you introduce the honey badger to the Everglades, I believe it will end up doing more harm than good.